Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. It's over. A police siege in the French city of Toulouse has ended with the death of a suspected serial killer. Cops forced their way into the flat where Mohamed Mera was holed up shortly after 9.30 this morning, 32 hours after the standoff began. It's reported 23-year-old Mera died after jumping from his apartment window, firing his gun as he did so. Three officers were wounded in the final assault. 15 years, 300 million euro and 3,270 pages later, the Mahan report has finally been published. The inquiry was set up to investigate alleged corruption in property planning and land ownership in North Dublin. The tribunal has found that former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern failed to truthfully account for £165,214, which passed through bank accounts connected to him, but did not find him to be corrupt. The planning tribunal web site crashed within minutes of the report going live. Colombian troops have killed 39 rebels, most of them in a bombardment of a guerrilla camp. Night vision video has been released, which shows the bombing of the alleged rebel camp in northeastern Iraq estate. Twelve alleged rebels were also captured. The country's defence minister has described the strikes as the biggest blow against the revolutionary armed forces of Colombia in the past five years. Captured at last, Australia's most wanted man has been found hiding out in dense forests seven years after going on the run. Cops arrested Malcolm Naden at a remote property about 260 kilometres north of Sydney. Naden was charged with the murder of his cousin, attacking a teenage girl and shooting a police officer. The New South Wales State Police Commissioner has paid tribute to those involved. This man is a master bushman. He has been in this area for a number of years. He knows it better than the back of his hand. The conditions that we encountered were atrocious. I'd suggest though that those officers that have given of their time have done an outstanding job. Officials in Ohio say heavy rains over the weekend and deep digging tree roots were to blame for loosening a boulder which crushed two cars and damaged a house. Luckily, no one was injured when the massive rock crashed down a hill at around 10.30 at night. Michael Wiesner, who owns the land where the boulder fell, said that he had no idea what happened. The fire department was pounding on my door and the guy said, hey, do you realise that part of your hillside let go? Crews have started to demolish the boulder with jackhammers. It'll take at least a week to remove. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, big guy, small bike, epic face plant. At number four, note to bikers when you're thirsty, pull over. At number three, two little bouncers are synchronizing their moves from early on. Number two, this little howler wishes he had caller ID. <laughs> Thanks for that one, Michelle. <laughs> and number one today, it's not his big day, but that doesn't stop this five-year-old stealing the limelight. <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.